You can see my counter. You can see the crock pot. Hello and welcome. I didn't tag anybody. I am going to go ahead and create a soup with the leftover creamy chicken. Because you see, there's still a pretty good serving of leftover creamy chicken left. Um, right now, my hair is technically pulled up. I'm not sure how long that will be able to stay that way. Let me find you on the computer so I can see comments if people decide they're going to pop on. So let me refresh my computer. I was getting a fork so I can get my onions out of here. This is about the equivalent of half of a white onion that's going in there. Into the crock pot. And then that's going in the sink. I already pre-peeled my potatoes. We're going to slice two potatoes and we're going to put them in there as well. The only seasoning I did not grab is my garlic. I will grab that in just a minute. Let me scroll down and find you guys. Mute you. There we go. That way I can see comments if people pop on. Um, I didn't tag anybody because it wouldn't let me. So the potato is going in there. And if you saw, I just cut the potato into tiny bite-sized pieces. So, slice it in half and then go this way. It's just a simple throw together, pre-cook, showing how to repurpose an already Epicure meal, which is our creamy chicken that we use the Epicure Ranch and garlic and poco picante to make. Um, I'm going to get the same fork I used for the, the onion and I'm just going to like this and make sure the chicken's not going to stick to the bowl and that's going to go in there. Make sure you get all that chicken including what's on the fork and it's all in there and on the bottom. So our chicken is finely shredded and I'm just making a small little bit today. I'm not going hog wild making dinner today. Just small. Hi Terry, welcome! I'm just showing how to repurpose an already made Epicure meal. Um, I do have a few seasonings right here. I have the Italian. I have what's left of the vegetable broth, which is just a, maybe a half a teaspoon, which all, all that's going to go in. And I have the sesame ginger, which we will be throwing in there as well. And I don't have any of Epicure's Roman broth on hand because I used it all. And so I am going to be using canned broth. Yes, sometimes even canned is okay. <laughs> Did I already cut that in half? No. So cut that one in half. Um, I'm not sure how long my hair is going to be able to be pulled up, so we'll see. Um, and I'm just keeping it simple tonight. Making a small, tiny soup for everybody. And then I have sweet peppers. I'm trying to decide if I want to add those. Um, but I know I'm going to add my carrots, which are right here, my carrots. You can see my bits from when I grated. All these bits are going to go in there. And then I'm just going to cut my carrots into bite-sized rounds, and they're going to go in there. So simple and easy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, my computer is pulled up so that I can see comments. It wouldn't let me tag to get our hostess on here, but Cindy is our hostess. She is already halfway to her goal, which is actually amazing. Um, I would love to see her get the full 250 so that she can earn some rewards. Um, if she earns more than 250, there's a chance that she can earn the second level rewards, which is absolutely amazing as well. That would give her. If she earns the reward, she'll get a half off item and she'll get, I believe it is $25 in free products, which I think she absolutely deserves. She is a rock star. And then I'm also hosting a party with her um, snaps, her snap jewelry. So if you want to go into that as well, that would be amazing as well. I need a few more carrots in there. That don't look like enough carrots. And I don't like the end on that carrot, so we're not going to use the end on that carrot. So, yum. It's just a simple, throw together, already pre-done chicken that I'm just repurposing to make a delicious meal. 
I mean, who doesn't love making a delicious soup? So that was maybe four or five small carrots. So right now we have our chicken, our carrots, and our potatoes in there. Before I add anything else, is my measuring spoon clean? Am I measuring spoon is clean? This is one of my all-time favorite items from Epicure. It is our measuring spoon. It is a multi-purpose. You got the tablespoon, leveler, teaspoon, half teaspoon, and then you can put this in half because there's a small little line right here on the back and do a half a tablespoon as well. It's absolutely amazing. I like pairing this with our measuring prep bowls. These are actually one cup prep bowls as well. I'm not sure if you can see, but there are measurements on the side of the prep bowl. But I'm not using that today, so we're not going to use that. Um, the sesame ginger, I'm going to go ahead and do some of the flavorings first. I'm going to get our sesame ginger. I'm going to go in with the, the teaspoon side, because the tablespoon didn't work. And we're going to put two teaspoons of the sesame ginger in there. Look at how all those seasons. Yum. And we're going to put two of those in there. Two of that is in there. Um, this has wrong side. There we go. Organic cane sugar, a little bit of cane sugar, onion, sesame seed, garlic, spices, red bell peppers, and chives. It's absolutely amazing. And now I have a half teaspoon left of that. The vegetable broth was one of our um, Thanksgiving things. I don't know if it's available still. Um, if I find it available still, I will post it up in a post. So I'm going to post the half teaspoon that I have left of that. I'm not going to post it. I'm going to put it in. And then our Italian seasoning. I'm going to get a half a tablespoon of that. And that's going to go in. And there's our seasonings. Now... I have some frozen corn that I'm going to add as well. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to add some broccoli in there as well because I have some frozen broccoli right here as well. And these are our, our Epicure scissors. They are extremely, extremely sharp. I'm prone and known to cut myself, so I close them when I set them down. I'm going to put about half of this packet of corn in there. So we have our corn. And then let's go ahead and put some of the broccoli in there. So there again, I'm using the scissors. And it's just frozen broccoli. And I'm just going to go to my heart's desire. That is maybe about a cup of broccoli out of this bag of frozen broccoli. Yes, it's a giant bag of broccoli. <laughs> now our broth. There it is, right there. Can opener. This is just a generic store bought can opener. I'm just going to pop it so that I can put the chicken broth in. Hey, I can do it one handed. <laughs> so there is that can. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we're just going to let stir this up and let it simmer low and slow until about maybe 2, 2.30. And then I'm going to add some of my green um, spinach noodles for my spaghetti noodles just to give it like that chicken noodle soup. And that is going to be dinner. So now I'm going to get my spoon right here. We're going to stir this up so the chicken's all clear out and since our chicken was already creamy, I'm going to pull this out and show you. Since our chicken was already creamy, it's got a creamy base up to it already because our chicken had um, cream cheese in it. So the cream cheese flavor with all that. And so that is how dinner is going to be made. And when it gets closer to being done, about 2, 2.30, I'm going to add those noodles. And then dinner will be ready by about 3. And that's just how simple and easy it is to repurpose a meal with Epicure. Simple, delicious, and yummy. So now we're going to go ahead and put our lid on. Since most of this is already pre-cooked, I'm going to go low and slow until about 2, 2.30. And then I'm going to turn it up to high for that last little bit to cook the noodles. And things are going to be just perfect. And this is enough 
for the three of us because I'm just a family of three. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.